तुलसी सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद द्वंद भक्त बिंद श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंद नंग वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदा मनोहर वाछा कल्पतरु कृपा सिंधु विवच पतितान पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुकोति वाचाल पंगु लंघति गिरी यत्तमह वंदे परमाधव बृंदा वै तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव सच स्नभक्ति पदे देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरंच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूह तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्य भीतात्म पुनुत पालभवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरणारिंद यत्दपल्लवलखचंदमि छटाय विस्फुर्जीतकमी गोवधूस्वदर्शी पूर्णागरसागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामय कदा कृपाक श्रीकृष्णचैतन्य प्रभुनिदानंद श्रीअद्वैतगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनिदानंद श्रीअद्वैतगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुजो कनुका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितर कमलायताक्ष भीषाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंदि दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दासी नीत भावाण सदा नरानम गंगा तरंगरमणीयटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषित तो बाम भाग नारायण प्रियमनोंगमदापहारम वाराणसी पुरापति भज विश्वनाथ वागी सजुष वदने लक्ष्मीश च वक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संबीत निशिंगमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे संसार सिंधु उत्तर ने हृदय जदीषाद संकीर्तनामृतरसे रमते मनुष्ये 
प्रेमाबुधौ विहरणी जदि चित्तवीति चैतन्य छंद चरणे कुरुतागम चैतन्य छंद चरणे कुरुतागम संसार सिंधु उत्तर ने हृदय यदि सात संकीर्तनामृतरसे रमते मनुष्ये प्रेमाबुधौ विहरणी जदि चित्तवीति चैतन्य छंद चरणे कुरुतागम चैतन्य छंद चरणे कुरुतागम गौरिय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपाल परमंश जगत गुरु सेठ दे हैं वेन वी कैन हारमोनाइज आवर हार्ट कम्प्लीटली उथ भगवान देन एंड ओनली देन वी कैन बी फैम हैप्पी गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपाल परमंश जगत गुरु सेठ दे हैं when jiva can harmonize when we can harmonize our heart completely with bhagwan then and only then in true sense we can become happy otherwise we can never become happy because in chaitanya chaitamrita it is already written krishna bhakto shanto krishna bhakto nishkam atoib shanto krishna bhakto nishkam atoib shanto भुक्ति मुक्ति सिद्धि कामी सकल ही अशांत एवरीबडी रेस्टलेस एवरीबडी सामर हाउ दे आर ऑल रेस्टलेस एक्सटर्नली यू कैन फाइंड समबडी ट्रैंकुल बट नॉट दैट इन साइड रेस्टलेस वेब ऑफ थॉट्स कमिंग एंगजाइटी सो ओवर स्पीकिंग वेन वी कैन कम्प्लीटली हारमोनाइज अवर हार्ट हारमोनाइज our desire expectation anything with the desire of bhagwan anything we can get harmonized totally then and only then we can become peaceful i mean ananda we can get actual happiness not before that sila poupad used to say if the whole world is inundated totally devastated all Proloi, proloi, you know, total destruction, total and whole world is inundated. Water, water everywhere, whole world. But still, if there is chaitanya, if there is chaitanya, chaitanya, it is in my lap. Only chaitanya, nothing else, all gone. Papa speaking, if the chaitanya, chaitanya, it is there in my lap, then with this chaitanya, chaitanya, it is I can grab and I can swim. in the ocean of prolay and be sure nothing is lost if chaitanya charitamrita is saved then we can get everything again nothing gone this kind of strong faith is impossible you can you may think it is one kind of philosophy popa speaking but really popa mean to say if chaitanya charitamrita is saved in this world somehow then everything we can get again because chaitanya charitamrita and si siman mahaprabhu non different from each other even we we can speak one or two incident one day prabhupad giving instruction to bhakti vivek bharati maharaj tall figure bhakti vivek bharat who was seen he was more than popad e h h h factor no popad one day is giving instruction morning time sila bharati maharaj can go there for preaching i mean hari katha some invitation there popad already give instruction and then noon time when popad going to enter into library popad speaking to his sevak bharati sila bharati maharaj already gone After seven afternoon time, probably entering into library, late noon. Yes, he is gone. Bharati Ma is gone for preaching. Yes, gone. Bharati Ma is already gone. With what book he, with what book, what book he carried with him? Actually, he took Simad Bhagavatam with him. Why? 
our subject matter of preaching is only Chaitanya Charitamrita. Even Bhagavatam, you can see I writing under the guidance of Gauriya Siddhanta, that I means Chaitanya. Even I am speaking Bhagavatam discourse, but you can watch, I am doing under the guidance of Gauriya Darshan. That's mean Gauriya Darshan, Gauranga Mahapu Darshan, that I means Chaitanya Charitamrita. Popa speaking, with what book he gone for preaching? He took Bhagavad Gita Mahapran with him. Why? Chaitanya Chaitamita, etc. Chaitanya Bhagavad there. He gone with this. This way, Prabhupada used to give so much importance to Chaitanya Bhagavad, Chaitanya Chaitamita. Because this is the, it is the easiest procedure. It is the easiest procedure. All other procedures are so complicated. All other procedures you can follow, but very complicated. If you follow this procedure, I mean, if you like to follow Chaitanya Bhagavad, Chaitanya Chaitamito, if you can get the association of those uh, devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in true sense, then it's more practical, very easy. Our attainable object is very difficult, but this procedure, by this procedure, we can get it very easily. So easily, cannot imagine. So all the time, Prabhupada used to give importance to this Chaitanya Bhagavad, Chaitanya Bhagavad. Any preaching, anywhere going, Prabhupada used to say, we must distribute the Karuna Marshi given by Gauranga Mahaprabhu, all his Leela, all his Tattva Siddhanta, and Gauranga Mahaprabhu Siddhanta, everything means Bhagavad Siddhanta. All same. Bhagavad Siddhanta means Gauranga Mahaprabhu Siddhanta. Anyway, this Kalikal is so dangerous that in Kalikal, Hari Bhajan next to impossible. I myself confess, in Kalikal, Hari Bhajan is next to impossible, but possible because the, because one Siddhanta Vishar, if we can do only Nam Sankirtan, by the help of Nam Sankirtan, we can get success. That is the easiest procedure. All other yuga, other time, we cannot get any chance. Very hard. That's why Parikhit Maharaj didn't think it necessary to kill Kali. Kalau, Kaler, Kaler Dosa Nidhe Rajan, Kaler Dosa Nidhe Rajan, Usti Ek Mahan Gunaha, Kittanad Eva Kishnasya, Mukta Sangha Param Bajat. Only by doing Sankirtan from heart, not with other desire, other contamination. Sankirtan. Only by Sankirtan we can cross over this material ocean. And Mahaprabhu specifically told, Je Shaddo Shadon Tattva Jekichi Shakal. Shaddo, whatever they are. In Shaddo and Sadhan Tattva, Mahaprabhu specifically, you cannot remember. Shaddo, Sadhan Tattva, Jekuji Shakal, Shakoli everything you can get for Nam Sankirtan. Shaddo Vastu, Sadhan, Shaddo Vastu, Shaddo, Sadhan Tattva, Jekuji Shakal, Harinam Sankirtan, Paibe Shakal, all everything, the easiest way. That's why. Sriman Mahaprabhu from right from the beginning of Abhirbhav. In course of his crying, he is crying and when somebody, Hare Krishna, then so. this is the, going to indicate. This way Mahaprabhu wanted to preach Harinam Sankirtan. Now gone to South India also for this purpose, to distribute Nam Prema to everybody. Big way. Mahaprabhu, that's why, multiple way. To change Sankar Sampradaya to send Mayavadi there. And when Madha, Madha Charjo present those who are, uh, uh, those who are Acharya present, those who are following at present, like Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Gauranga Mahaprabhu, those Sahajiyas Navadi, if you go and speak to them, you are not with them angry. If you speak to them, why you are not following Gauranga Mahaprabhu? You are not following, we are following. Navadi, just Navadi, cross the river, go. So, similarly, Madhacharya, what Madhacharya wanted to say, Siddhanta Vichar, long ago Madhacharya, 
So Madhya Jajo gone long ago. After that, morning time I was speaking, na? Morning time I was speaking. Somehow, the original Siddhanta which are in course of time get distorted. How, why? You have to make inquiry into it. Automatically. Morning time I was speaking this sloka. That this way, automatically how? This change, change, change and now change. If you ask them, they are not following Gauranga Mahaprabhu, they go all rubbish. But they are going to identify themselves as we are the follower going. Gauriam are not following. We are following actually. We are actual follower. And uh, they can deserve the Gorang Abir Bhastal. Abir Bhastal is not Jokpi. This Jokpi is false. This Jokpi Mayabu is false. Actually, that Jokpi. So, what to do? We cannot find. Similarly, by the time when Mahaprabhu was there in Udupi, by that time, so many changes happened, took place. The so originally Mahapu wanted to establish there. The originally Madhajajo never wanted to speak this way. Mukti, nothing. Mahapu never wanted. Madhajajo never wanted to speak. But you want to establish this. Actually, you are going to cheat me by watching me Mayavad Sanyasi. Mahapu was saying, you actually, you are not going to the actual Siddhanta to me because you think I am Mahavadi Sanyasi. This way, Mahapu, very sweet way, approach is very sweet, yet the impact is very high. Mahapu used to change. Now in Nilachaldam, we already witnessed how Sarvam Bhattacharya Jo changed everything down, how Brahmananda Bharati, yesterday we discussed how change. He is speaking, whole life I am doing Nirakar, impersonal Brahmo. But whenever I look at you, whenever I look at you, a Nirakar, impersonal Brahmo, so long. But whenever I saw you first, from then onward, I, 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 cannot, I cannot do impersonal Brahmo Upasana. Every time I can remember your face, your golden appearance. So I am sure you are Bhagavan. This way, Gradually, it is spreading all around, automatically spreading. They see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Anybody watching at Mahaprabhu, if there is no great offense, if there is a great offense like Ramchandra Puri, if there is a great offense, then you cannot realize. Sinful activism may be done, but not offense. Then immediately when you look at Mahaprabhu, by the mercy of Mahaprabhu, you can realize he is Supreme Lord. Anyway, now our Govindo, our Govindo already came. And before that, actually our Jagadananda Pandit used to serve Mahaprabhu. Jagadananda Pambu uh, used to serve and Mukundo also and another uh, um, but another name I told, Ramapati or something, uh, he also used to serve. Now, Jagadananda Pandit cannot bear, Jagadananda Pandit just cannot bear this kind of renunciation shown by Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu sleeping in, in the ground, Mahaprabhu not using any clothes, no, nothing. Three times taking bath, so much restriction, Jagadananda cannot be here. It has become impossible for Jagadananda to be here. So Jagadananda now planning how to uh, arrange, you know, gradually Jagadananda. Actually, Jagadananda was sent to Bangla to inform the Mahaprabhu already come. And from there, Ma, uh, Jagadananda going to carry one, one oil pot. Nice wild pot, Ayurvedic wild. Jagadananda is going to carry one Ayurvedic wild pot all the way, is going to Puri, Nilachal coming, and going to keep the wild pot in proper place so that time to time uh, uh, Jagadananda can apply on the head of Mahaprabhu. This is the planning because Prabhu, uh, you know, big, all the time busy doing bhajan, this, that. Sometimes 
you know, he cannot sleep properly. So, Jagadananda took trouble to bring that, uh, you know, Ayurvedic oil from Bangla and keep it in a proper place. So, on time, Jagadananda can approach. But oil was given to Govindo. Govindo, you do one thing, you keep this oil with you and time to time you can give this apply oil on the head of our Prabhu because he cannot sleep properly this then. Govindo keeping. Govinda's second mother, Sachima, is keeping it. Someday, Jaga, someday Govindo going to pray to Mahaprabhu. Jagadananda went to Bangla. Jagadananda went to Bangla to bring wild pot. I mean, nice Ayurvedic wild pot. Prabhu, you, you must apply it on your hand. Govindo uh, actually, actually requesting to Mahaprabhu. You can use it. Mahaprabhu become angry. I am sannyasi. How you can uh, request me to apply oil on my head? Sannyasi cannot apply oil. Uh, you are uh, and requesting me to apply oil. Eh? And at the same time, very nice smell. So when I can go through the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, people can say the kapat sannyasi. He is having woman association. Uh, surely. Is applying a nice oil, very nice. Sannyasi, they have no right to use you know, essence in the body. Scent, no. <coughs> Not oil, <coughs> costly. Then Govindo approaching <coughs> Jagadananda. Prabhu is not ready to accept oil because he is speaking, I am Sannyasi. How you can? So, Prabhu wanted to request Jagadananda. When Jagan meeting Jagadananda, Jagadananda, I am very sorry, extremely sorry. You bring this Ayurvedic oil from Bengal, where you have taken so much trouble, but I am a sannyasi. How I can use it? So, better you can give this oil to Jagannath Mandir. That time there was no electricity. There was no electricity. Even still today, if you go to South India, there is no electricity inside temple. Deity room is always a hand fan. No, there in Bindavan also you can go. Some temple they are maintaining. So I cannot use it. So better you can use this oil uh, in the lamp of Jagannath temple inside. You can use it. Jagadananda become very angry. Jagadananda becomes so angry. Jagadananda angry which sense? Try to realize. Jagadananda cannot bear that Prabhu, this kind of renunciation, this kind of hard life, Jagadananda cannot bear. So Jagadananda wants to arrange some mattress, everything for Prabhu. Prabhu cannot take. Prabhu cannot take. So when Mahaprabhu requesting Jagadananda, Jagadananda becomes angry, angry, angry in the sense, loveful angry, not that the real material man. Jagadana started shouting, Who told you? Who told you I bring Ayurvedic oil from Bengal? Eh? Who told you? I am not bringing any oil. I take the oil pot and throw in the baranda, break and all around oil and oil. Mahaprabhu, he wanted to serve me. I reject. Then he become very sorry. Who told you I bring oil? Eh? Nobody. I am not being you. going to take oil pot and throw in front of Mahaprabhu. And Baranda break down and all oil and oil. Mahapu was very sorry. Mahapu was very sorry. And Jagadananda immediately entered inside a room, inside his bhajan kutir, and closed the door. And for three days, not opening door. No water, no prasadam, nothing. Only close the door, Mahapu was there. Jagadananda opened, opened the door, not giving any response. Mahaprabhu requesting Jagadananda open, open the door. Not open. For three days, no water, no prasadam, nothing, fasting and crying whole day and night. That Prabhu not going to accept my seva. You see the angry attitude, not like material man. Why is not going to accept my seva? Like Simati Radharani become angry with Krishna. Why not accepting seva? Why going to some other place? Then after three days, 
Jagadanandu not opening, Mahapu finally go to the rail and finally making a plan. Because the heart of Jagadanandu Mahaprabhu from childhood. They used to play, na, here in Navadip. Jagadanandu Mahaprabhu used to fight each other, you know. This is naturally the one the fight. So finally Mahaprabhu going to knock the door and speaking, Jagadanandu, Jagadanandu, open the door, open the door. I like to take prasadam today in your hand. I am going to take bath in an ocean. Mahaprabhu gone. After hearing that Prabhu can take prasadam in my hand, immediately open the door. Mahaprabhu gone to ocean to take bath. Immediately Jagadanandu coming out of room and calling Rama and Nanda, where you are, come all. Very quickly we'll have to cook. Prabhu can take prasadam. Fasting for three days, nothing. Cooking nicely. Mahaprabhu from ocean come back. After they chanting everything. And now sitting for prasadam. Jagadananda not speaking anything. Not speaking anything. Only serving prasadam. Mahaprabhu taking prasadam speaking. He was so angry. That's why your preparation is so sweet. He was so angry, that's why your preparation is so sweet today, actually. Jagadananda not, you know, speaking. Finally, Mahaprabhu took prasadam and arranged so that Jagadananda also can take prasadam, break his... His heart was broken, no? The Prabhu wanted to reject. This way, you try to see the difference between Material angry attitude and this one loveful angry attitude. Loveful angry attitude expressed by Jagadananda because why you are not taking seva from me? Why you are not taking seva from me? That is the reason of his angry attitude. And material world, angry attitude happening for different reason, and when material what is the difference between material angry attitude and sweet, loveful man? Loveful angry attitude, you can find the seva, they are not going to stop. Loveful angry attitude, seva can go. They cannot speak with Prabhu, they don't like to speak, the seva can go. But in material world, if there is angry attitude, one man can leave the relationship with, with whom he is developing Hostility, uh, I mean, an uh, angry attitude can drop. Again, Jagadananda going to take initiative, consulting with, uh, consulting with, consulting with, uh, with some devotees, and after that wanted to make some mattress that I can speak after. That is not the, after some time it can happen after some days. So now I told. Uh, one day before yesterday, that our Gauriya Bhajan is Raganuga Bhajan. Our Gauriya Bhajan actually Raganuga Bhajan. We cannot understand. Because Gauranga Mahaprabhu is coming from Golok, Krishna himself, Krishna himself, and this Navadip Dham is non, non different. This Navadip Dham is non different from, non different from. Golok Vindavan. Same. And all devotees, they are coming in the guise of devotee. Like Sanatan, Sanatan Goswami, Lavanga Manjari, Rupa Goswami Bhad, Rupa Manjari, this Kishudath Kupitami, Kasturi Manjari, Bhak, our Jiva Goswami Bhad, Bilas Mandari, Jiva Goswami Bhad, Bilas Manjari, our Rukunanda Goswami, Roti Manjari, our Sivananda Sen Champak Manjuri. So how? All they are coming, but in externally they are men. They are not women. But eternally they are serving Bhagavan. So all their seva, I mean the Gauranga Mahaprabhu and the relationship between all devotees, those are all Raganuga Bhajan. All Raganuga Bhajan, nobody can understand. It is actually Raganuga Bhajan. I mean, Raganuga Bhajan means they have spontaneous love affair from heart. They have no self interest, smell of self interest. That is called Raganuga Bhajan. They have no interest. No smell of any interest, only they are going to seek the 
satisfaction of Gauranga. Same thing, when somebody wanted to put question to Prabhupada, what do you mean by Brajavasi? One, many devotees wanted to put question, what do you mean by Brajavasi? Prabhupada giving answer, who, those who are eternally trying to find the complete satisfaction of Krishna, those who are eternally trying their best to find the complete satisfaction of Krishna, any of their activities, even their sleeping, speaking, going, looking, hearing, all activities related to the one single factor. That's it. They like to satisfy Krishna. If they like to sleep, that also for the satisfaction of Krishna. If they are sleeping, that also for the satisfaction of Krishna. Because if they take rest, then again they can do seva. This way, Prabhupada used to say, those who are Brajavasi, their motive, you can, you can check up, their motive is all the time, all the time, without any interruption, all the time their mood is to satisfy Bhagavan Sri Krishna. All the time their mood is to satisfy Bhagavan Sri Krishna, nothing else. This is only available inside Vrindavan. Vrindavan. So this is secret Vrindavan. Navadiv is secret Vrindavan. Navadiv is secret Vrindavan. If you go through Chaitanya Bhagava, Chaitanya, you can go mad. What is the, uh, what is the mood of devotees? All their devotees, they, are, they all want to, want to satisfy Bhagavan Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And some of them clearly understand his supreme law. Some of them, most of them. And they by now understand Gauranga is Radha Govindo together. They understand. So it is Gauriya Bhajan is Raganuga Bhajan also. Gauriya Bhajan, Raganuga Bhajan. When by this time, when I told yesterday, Paramananda Puri already reached that place. Uh, he already informed Maharaj, they all are taking preparation to come to meet with you immediately. Because coincidentally, the time uh, they are actually every year coming. Actually, every year they are coming before, before Chaturmasa. Every year they are coming. So every year, Chaturmasa, Chaturmasa when approaching, and especially someday before, because Prabhu already reached, that they cannot wait anymore. They are losing their patience. They like to meet, they like to fly. They like to fly to Mahaprabhu, because there was no flight that time. Then. No car, nothing. Anyway, you have to walk down and go. They like to fly. Their mind already gone to Puri, Nila Chaldam, to meet with Prabhu. So, Nilachal Dham, actually their mind already gone, Nilachal Dham, to meet with Mahaprabhu. So, nice. At the same time, Paramananda Bari already came, I told everything. Now, all devotees under the guidance of Sivananda Sen, all devotees, they are like the like wave in the ocean, na, dancing all. Child, you know, old man, old lady, all going. Gauranga, we like to see Gauranga. They are running, even mother with a small baby in the lap, also going. They don't think it is troubleful. Gauranga means everything. Because one thing we should not forget, because in Upanishad we know, in relation to Atma, we love each other. Atma ba are drashtabha satyabhya nididhya shitab. In Upanishad it is written, Atma ba are drashtabha satyabhya nididhya shitab. In relation to Atma, we love each other. This world is moving around due to the love affair. I told you, na? Nunta Harikata. So, due to Atma, mother can love that baby so long as life is there. So many incidents I can see. Bharti Maharaj used to say, speak one incident. Very shortly I can speak quickly. Hyderabad, in Hyderabad, 
Hyderabad, South India. There was one, one rich man, very rich man. Griyastha, wife and husband, old, they're growing old age, both of them talking with each other uh, all the time, friendship between wife and husband, and two daughters, they married in America. Two daughters. They're gone, nobody there. So they're in the house, they're gone. Someday, they took decision, well, we are growing old age, so better to go to some different pilgrimage. Pilgrimage, we can go. So, uh, old lady, I mean the wife, yes, we should go. Different pilgrimage. They make a, a ticket. First of all, they can go there, from their connecting ticket. They can go there, two days can stay in Haridwar. Yeah, they all, they make ticket, Ayodhya. In the meantime, they are packing for seven days. Uh, uh, the old man saying, you have taken this thing or forget. No, I have taken. Uh, you this, this, this thing, this thing, that thing. All he collect and put inside bag. All. After that, the days, um, the date of journey coming. And the date of journey, same day, they are going to station, AC ticket, two tire, nice, no problem. Very costly ticket with foods and everything, water, everything, whole. They are going to get into the tent and everything they set, old man set everything wherever, bunker. Then now they are going to sit and gossip how their journey will be nice. In the meantime, the old man develops heart attack and die. You see, husband suddenly heart attack develop in, inside the tent. When the journey going to, they are going to, tent going to start. In the meantime, he develops heart attack die. The old lady what to do? All ten, those who are staying there, they inform the station master. Then the doctor coming, train was delayed by some, by some hours. After that, they take out the body from the train. I mean the old lady also disappointed because he cannot, all ticket else cancel. Cannot go, no? Then after that, they inform to different relatives, they are all coming in the station that this is the case, heart attack. Then they are say, all relatives, all relatives they are suggesting, well, we can take this dead body to the house first, because he was used to stay there, no? They suggest all, we can take the dead body to, the, to our house where they used to stay. But the old lady is speaking, no, 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 directly to the crematorial ground, because infection will be there. You see the love. You see the love. Bhartima is speaking and laughing. Old lady, the wife speaking, no, 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 no need of, because there is, there is you know, infection will be there, they can, uh, big problem, so directly you can take to. This is our love affair. And in Upanishad, it is rightly said, because Atma is there, Spirit is there, that's why we are related with each other, loveful relation. If no Atma, then who can love? Atma bhari drashtabhya satabhya nidhi dhashitabhya is quite nice. Bhartima used to speak and love. This is the condition. And another thing, why, why everybody used to, whenever if you look at Gauranga, feeling tremendous, like magnet. What is the reason? Because he is the Atma of all Atma. Nitto nityanam chetana chetananam eko bohunam jabidadhati kaman. This is the sloka. He is the Atma of all Atma, whole infinity Atma. Infinity Atma in the infinity world. Prakita, Prakita, Prakita. Only Krishna is the support of them. Nitto nityanam chetana chetananam. Eko bhunam jividudhati kaman tam atmastam jo anupasanti thi raha te sham shanti hi na etare na etare sham. All other people they cannot get peace. All other people they can never get peace, absolute peace. Those who can understand, concentrate their mind unto the lotus feet of Gauranga, lotus feet. It is written. They can, you can find them peaceful, always. 
they are peaceful. All other people, they are not concentrating in the lotus feet of Gauranga, they cannot. This way, all devotees together started dancing and they are approaching towards Nilachal Dham, long distance. 500 from Mayapur, from Navadip, because devotees from different places. Devotees, they are not from one place. Some devotees coming from Bardhaman district, some devotees come from Nadia district, different places. Different places. Somebody from Santipur, Sandipur here, all they get together. After that, they pay pranam unto a lotus feet of Sachima. First of all, they pay and then they can start. They are starting. And from Navadhi, if you calculate the distance of uh, Purushottam Nam Nilachal is more than 600 kilometers. More than. From Navadhi, we will calculate. Because from Navadhi, we will have to go that route, you know. After that, you can go. So, anyway, more than 600 kilometers. So, all with mothers with small baby, old lady with stick, all everybody running towards, towards their heart, Gauranga. Their heart is Gauranga. In the meantime, in the Wrote so many things happened, so I'm not going to speak anything. Finally, Mahaprabhu was informed, though he is super soul, sitting inside, but still like human being. Prabhu, Prabhu, all from Navadips, all Navadip Basi, they are coming to me. Really? Where? There? But they are coming. Let us go. Mahaprabhu with all garlands. You see the mood. Mahaprabhu always big, many garlands. All flower, chandan, running with Govindu and all mukunda, everything. Let us go. Where are they are? They are long distance there. Then, there, it is the rules. When Vaishnava coming, we get information. It is one kind of part of 64 Bhakti Anga. When Bhakta going away, we must follow him. When he is coming, we must attend him. These are the rules. Anyway, so Mahaprabhu is going to teach us that how to honor how to honor devotees. Mahaprabhu as a, as a uh, Supreme Lord, but acting as a human being. All together, Mahaprabhu running, where Bhaktos devotees are coming, Mahaprabhu running and running. Finally, in the Dunna Sarovar crossover, they are Mahaprabhu going to be. Then they are going, they are coming, after that, meeting with all devotees. By that time, I I uh, forgot to tell you, Nithyanando already gone to Bangla, again coming, by that time. Mane Mahaprabhu came from South India, then after that, Gauranga Mahaprabhu sent Nithyanando, because Nithyanando is sleeping and sitting here, because he had to preach, you know, Nithyanando was the main guru. So, then all of them, they are coming back, Mane Mahaprabhu gone to South India, after that, Nithyanando gone to Bangla, then after that. Anyway, so now Nityananda, Advaita, all they coming together with all devotees, Shivananda Sen, Bhakteshwar Pandit, who not, who not, everybody, all team, big team, they are coming. In the meantime, Mahaprabhu is going to meet them. Uh, if you see the scenery, how they meet with each other, it's, it is not possible for me to speak. They are going to meet each other, embracing, shedding tears. Mahaprabhu giving Chandan Mala to all devotees, himself giving all garland to every to honor them. Mahaprabhu thinking, Mahaprabhu always think, Advaita is my guru. Mahaprabhu thinking, because Advaita Gosai took initiation from Madhavendra Puri. Advaita Gosai took initiation from Madhavendra Puri. So naturally, Guru Varga. So going to pay pranam, everything. Finally, finally they are approaching. Sankirtan doing, they are coming. In the meantime, I told you that King Raja Prataparuddha was very much interested. Raja King Prataparuddha was so much interested to meet with Mahaprabhu that even he cannot wait even one fraction of a second. So excitement. So excitement when I can meet with Prabhu. Cannot move. Then Sarvamo told, he is actually sannyasi Acharya. He cannot meet with one Mat Mataji or Sanyas, he is Sanyasi, na? he cannot meet with any Matajis or he cannot meet with any king or material of me, so cannot. Then king become very sorry. 
how I can meet them? I am hopeless. He is coming here to deliver the whole world, except me. Eh? What is this? I heard that he is uh, taking, you know, coming here, you know, coming here in this world to deliver everybody and accept me. What problem? Then king crying. Then anyway, king was very much interested to know everything. But anyway, he cannot approach Mahaprabhu. So, Sarvamu Bhattacharya and Kashi Misro, the guru, Kashi Misro, Kashi Shor separate, Kashi Shor I told, Kashi Shor, Govindo, Mahaprabhu, they all got bother. In, as per calculation, Bhagavan got bother, what is it? And speaking, bound to seek. So Mahaprabhu, Kashi Shor, I mean, before living body, Ishwar Purva already told, Kashi Shor uh, and, uh, you know, Govindo, both of you can go and serve Mahaprabhu. That's why Kashi Shor. So, this Kashi Shor is separate. I mean, the God brother Mahaprabhu. And Kashi Mishra mean, Kashi Mishra mean, is the guru of Raja, king of Orisha. Is the guru, Dikha guru. Is the guru of, guru of, king of Orisha. So, now, Kashi Mishra, Sarvam Bhattacharya, Gopinath, and together with who all? Sarvam Bhattacharya, King Pratavrudra, Gopinath, and Kashi Mishra. They all, because King wanted to know all in detail. King was very much interested. Okay, Prabhu, don't like to meet me. Somehow you arrange. But now at least I can see who is he. So they all climb the roof of the palace. They all roof. They reach the roof of the palace. From there, Sarvam Vartachajyo, one side, Gopinath, Kasimisro, and king is middle. You see, who is he? So much effulgence like uh, and, uh, many sun god, but his name is Adhoito Gosai. Adhoito? Yes. He is non different from your Prabhu Bhagavan. He is a Sadasi. Really, so much power, like so much light coming from the body. So, and Prabhu going to embrace them, love them, singing, dancing, and this Parikon Nitananda is a is a first expansion of Gauranga, is Baloram. Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself. They are explaining to King. You see this Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Is Gorang Mahapu himself Krishna? And he is actually Nityananda Balaram. Oh, Nityananda Balaram is the brother of Gauranga. This way they are going to speak. This way they are discussing with you. all devotees one by one. Sarvam Vartajajo, Sarvam Vartajajo speaking. Well, all of them I don't know. So Gopinath knowing everything. Gopinath can go on speaking. Who is he? Is Bhakkasa Pandit, Shivas Pandit, or this way, or he can go on speaking. Uh, actually, I, uh, everybody, I, I, have, I don't know everybody. In any way, this way, they are explaining, and all devotees, they are approaching. And suddenly, they hear Mahaprabhu speaking to all devotees. Mahaprabhu speaking to all devotees. All of you, immediately, Pay pranam to the wheel, chakra, wheel. Immediately, you can go and pay pranam to the wheel. Pay pranam to the wheel. Wheel, chakra. Sudarshan chakra. Sudarshan chakra is coming. Okay. Sudarshan chakra. So, you pay pranam, prostate pranam, pranam to Sudarshan chakra. And Sudarshan Chakra, you can pay pranam. After paying pranam, you can go directly to ocean to take bath and immediately come to take prasadam. Try to understand. Mahaprabhu directly, he is Krishna, he is Krishna Chaitanya himself. 
he is Bhagavan Sri Krishna, he is Krishna Chaitanya himself. He is giving instruction, he is giving instruction, he is giving instruction that you can directly, all devotees, all devotees, you can all go to uh, ocean, first page, uh, pranam to Jagannath wheel, Jagannath chakra, and after that immediately go to ocean and take bath and take bath and come back, and after that you can take prasadam immediately. You can take prasadam immediately. Then king become puzzled. How Mahaprabhu speaking? They are coming to Nilachal Dham. They can shave their head. They can everything. They can take bath. And they can go for fasting. This is a rule. Because they are coming in the Nilachal Dham. Why Mahaprabhu speaking? Then you can go and take bath. Even Mahaprabhu not speaking, go inside Jagannath temple. Try to understand. Even Mahaprabhu not speaking, you can go inside Jagannath temple, take darshan. After that come out and go to ocean, take bath, take even Mahaprabhu directly speaking, you can go to ocean, pay pranam to wheel, chakra and come back to Sam. Now, king was in confusion. King was, how is possible? Because usually those who are coming in a pilgrimage, nice like Elachal, they can shave their head, change clothes, take bath, everything, maintain purity, after that they can fast. Next day after taking Jagannath, they can. Why so? Then, actually, Sarvam Vatajajo, by now, he is not Mayavadi. By now, he is a great devotee. Change why? So, Sarvam Vatajajo and Gopinath giving the reason. Sarvam Vatajajo speaking, King, you are right. It is the usual rule. Those who are coming in Dhamma, any place, first of all, they can fast, shape their head, everything, this is the rule. But here, it is the Bidhi mark. Now I can come to my proof that this is Raganuga, Raganuga Bhakta. So, our Sarvam Vatajajo and Gopinath are speaking, you are right, this is the rule in Bidhi Mark. But here, this is not Bidhi Mark. The, all devotees, they have such a relationship with Mahaprabhu that they are tightly bonded, so loveful relation. They don't care to take bath, not. You see, Sarvam Vatajajo. Even Sarvamati is the number one A-class Brahman, you know. Anyway, he used to deserve himself at least. I am a number one Brahman. Mayavadi was there. He used to maintain all that Sarvamati is how possible with the brassing, with the taking bath when Mahapu take prasadam, Kavjagana is taking. Tell us surely Sarvamati is his heart is totally changed. Mahaprasad is taking Mahaprabhu giving in hand himself. Whereas he has seen Mahaprabhu is Jagannath himself. Not only that, but also he has seen Mahaprabhu is Ram, Mahaprabhu is Krishna, Mahaprabhu is Gauranga. He has seen. So by now, he is thinking Jagannath himself giving his prasadam in my hand. And speaking, Sarvamo, take prasadam. <coughs> Mahaprabhu wanted to test him. There's still now, there is some stiffness of heart or relaxed totally or stiffness there. We like to do, oh, how I can take prasad after take, taking bath and chanting and So Mahaprabhu was very happy. So Sarvam Vatajaj is explaining, well, you know it is good, that is Vidhima. But it is the relationship between those devotees and Gauranga, our Mahaprabhu, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, it is Raganuga mark. Raganuga mark, they are externally not going to follow in rules and regulations. And also it is not necessary. But our Guru Bargo purposely going to follow some rules and regulations to engage us in Vidhimar. Because we are not qualified. This question I see now, Gopananda Maharaj wanted to put in front of all Guru Bargo in Purushottam. The If we are Ragmark, then why you are doing, we are following all and you know, Vidhimar? This question they wanted to put. Bon Maharaj was there, Madhu Goswami Maharaj, Sridhar Maharaj. They are all speaking, Bhakti Puri Goswami Maharaj can give answer. Then Maharaj answered that actually we are Vidhima, but to engage on, to engage us 
in Vidhimarg first, because otherwise we can break all rules and regulations. It's not good. First of all, to engage us, first of all, to engage us in Vidhimarg, and they are guiding us so that through Vidhimarg, someday we can uh, get quality, we can achieve quality. After that, automatically we can get entry into Raganuga Bhaja. Not now. Those who are not qualified, those who are initial in the beginning, those who are coming, it is the rules. Guru Maharaj speaking, all our Guru Bhargav, Prabhupada, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, all, all your Guru Bhargav, they externally following Vidhimarg to engage us in Seva so that we don't break any rules and regulation. And they themselves doing Raganuga Bhajan inside and finally they can guide us up to Raganuga Bhajan. So, Sarvam Bhattacharya and Gopinath Acharya speaking, Sarvam Bhattacharya and Gopinath Acharya speaking, this is the reason for why so much restriction is not applicable here. They are related with Mahaprabhu, with Raganuga Bhajan, Raganuga relationship. That's why this way uh, king was satisfied somehow and all devotees gone. And in the meantime, King Raja Pratapruddha with uh, some of his servant is called Uriya Parisha Patro. They call Parisha Patro. They are going to send so many prasadam. So many prasadam are going to send so that devotees can take bath because long distance from Navaddi, from Santipur, here, there. The all devotees get together and going to meet with Mahaprabhu. Long time they are taking trouble, the walking, walking, you know, this way. So Mahaprabhu cannot be here. Immediately you take bath and come and take prasadam. And then prasadam was distributed. Mahaprabhu himself taking, Mahaprabhu himself giving prasadam. After that, Sarvam Bhattacharya, all devotees requesting, if you are going to distribute, not taking prasadam, who can take? If you are sitting, taking prasadam, they can only take. Otherwise, they can sit. They cannot take. So, better you can sit in asan, in queue. And so many devotees there. Sarvagusa can come after, anyway. So, they can distribute prasadam there. So, this way, the prasadam distribution was there. And uh, after that, Haridas Thakur Maha, Mahaprabhu calling Haridas Thakur, come, come quickly here. You bring Haridas. Haridas Thakur not coming. Haridas Thakur lying down in the street, Rasta, out of humbleness. Devotee is going inside Gombira temple. I am Muslim actually. I have no right to go inside. He is lying down. And Mahaprabhu saying, where is Haridas? I cannot say Haridas. You bring, bring Haridas immediately. All devotees, ten devotees, Haridas, Mahaprabhu calling. You pray to him. I have no right to go inside. There are big, big devotees there. He thinks, him, I am a fallen soul. Somehow, prasadam I can get after all devotees, you know, after taking prasadam, finally I can take prasadam. So, according to his desire, according to his desire, Mahaprabhu is not going to disturb. I told you, you know, Mahaprabhu is going to keep balance. You try to understand, Mahaprabhu is going to keep balance. Because Varnasam Dharma was started by Bhagavan Sri Krishna, na? Chatur Varna Maya Srishtam Guna Karma Vibhagasa. According to Guna Evang Karma, I was bound to systematize the whole Samaj. So if I, Mahaprabhu, in the form of Gauranga, going to keep balance. Inside heart, he is going to keep Haridas Thakur, Mahaprabhu keeping Haridas Thakur inside heart, in Namacharya. At the same time, externally, when Haridas Thakur don't like to uh, go inside, Mahaprabhu also thought, okay, he like to, it is one kind of idealism also. Haridas Thakur want to say as a great devotee, Namacharya. Namacharya means nobody, nobody greater than or equal to him. Not greater than or, or equal to him. Namacharya means the highest title. Mahaprabhu has given this highest title to Haridas. A topmost Haridas. But still, Haridas is going to show this kind of idealism 
okay, I am fallen soul. The public, uh, those who are you know, devotees, they can learn humbleness. So, Mahaprabhu is not going to put uh, force on her. He will bring force, will he not speak? Okay, you don't like to come inside, let him stay here, there. After that, prasadam is over, Mahaprabhu is going to, going to send his own prasadam residue, prasadam plate. To whom? Haridas. You see the luck. So, Haridas is waiting. Haridas is 100% sure that Prabhu realized my heart. He can surely send me his own flat. Now, I am giving double benefit. Eh? Double benefit I am giving. So, after that, the plate was sent to Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur took it. And Haridas Thakur was given one place near Gambira. At present, there are so many buildings. So, you have to come out, go lane and lane. But that time, it is all open. Here, Gambira Mandir, a looking distance. From Gambira Mandir, there was all garden and garden, all around, sea beach. And Haridas Thakur, his place, you know, Siddha Bakul, he went there now, and Puri Siddha Bakul. Siddha Bakul is the bhajan spot of Haridas, which is just looking distance. You can see yeah, from there. So Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu used to love Haridas such a way that Mahaprabhu used to love Haridas such a way that he was bound to keep him in one place near Gambira Mandir. And every day it was a system, every day Mahaprabhu used to go to Jagannath Mandir early in the morning, very early in the morning. And after that, Jagannath Panda, they used to give some mala or some special prasadam in the hand of Mahaprabhu every day, almost every day, because all Panda, they knowing his Supreme Lord. After that, it was, a, it was a rules for Mahaprabhu, every day system. Mahaprabhu, first of all, used to come out of Jagannath, taking darshan of Jagannath, coming out. Whatever mala, whatever prasadam, not same prasadam, different kind of prasadam pandas used to give. Many, he used to take, bring it all in his cloth, tight, and first used to come to Haridas Thakur. Haridas, how you are? Mane Jagannath, we are going to take darshan of Jagannath in the temple. And Jagannath coming directly to Bhagavan to give darshan. That was the case. Big case, you know. Dhruva Maharaj, this was the same case. Dhruva Maharaj, about Dhruva Maharaj, we are speaking that it is a special case. Dhruva Maharaj was very special case. Within this short period of time, how possible to bring Bhagavan like magnet? Sri Krishna Karsani Chosa, I told you, no? going to pull Bhagavan Sri Krishna from Vaikuntho. And Bhagavan was bound to come in front of Dhruva Maharaj. Bhagavan could not be here. Even Bhagavan was very restless. Uh, restless means the Leela, one kind of Bhagavan never. Bhagavan speaking to Narad, you go, the small boy, he cannot, uh, he cannot come to me. First of all, you go and give mantra. After that. Anyway, about Dhruva Maharaj, it is written in Bhagavatam. That is the very most special case. Everywhere Bhagavan coming to, to give darshan. It is a rule. Bhagavan can come and give darshan to us. This we know. Usual case. But in case of Dhuva Maharaj, just opposite. Bhagavan was interested to see his small devotee. It is written, Bhagavan speaking, I can go there. When Indra, Adi speaking, all demigods. Approach. India speaking, we are feeling suffocation. We cannot take suffocation. Then Bhagavan told, actually, the small boy going to check up his breathing and going to think, keeping myself inside. And inside me, all infinity Brahmando, he is going to check up his respiration. That's why you are feeling suffocation. Well, you go, immediately I am going to solve this problem. And there it is written, Bhagavan speaking, Mad Bhakto Dadar Shaha. Bhagavan going there to see his devotee, not there to give darshan. That devotee 
Guru Maharaj there and Bhagavan came to see, to take darshan of his, just opposite. We like to take darshan of Bhagavan. A Bhagavan like to take darshan of the Mohan. And coming there, after that, Dhruva Maharaj now opening his eyes because he is watching Bhagavan inside. Bhagavan is there, confined inside the heart. He is thinking Bhagavan always. But he is not opening eyes. Then Bhagavan took decision to, you know, to vanish from inside his heart. When the darshan of Bhagavan stopped inside, then Dhruva Maharaj opening. What happened? Then watching what I was watching inside my heart, that is in front of me. Dhruva Maharaj gone mad, paying prostate dharma, cannot speak, very small boy, not educated. Then Bhagavan going to touch the conch, conch in the kopal. After that, Dhruva Maharaj started speaking like a wind. Stava. So, similar thing, Haridas Thakur not going to Jagannath temple. Jagannath coming directly, walking. Jagannath walking and coming to take darshan of Haridas. And now you understand how much purity is there with Haridas. Now you try to realize what is the position of Haridas and how he is going to express this kind of humbleness. I am nothing, I am Muslim. If somebody touch me, Haridas, uh, Thakur, Sanatan, Rup, so much humbleness. This way, Haridas, Haridas Thakur was so lucky. Every day Mahaprabhu used to come and take darshan of Haridas and used to give Mahaprasadam. Haridas Thakur not going to Jagannath temple, Rupa Goswami Pad not going to Jagannath temple, Sanatan not going to Jagannath, they are not going. They are so humble at you. We, we have had the association of Muslim people in our life. In our previous life, I was, Sanatan speaking, I was there with Muslim ruler, Hussein Sa. So I cannot go. We are contaminated. Whereas they are topmost Brahman. Bharat Raj Gotriya Brahman is the topmost from South India, Mysore. The Sanatan Rup, Sanatan Rup, their family, family originally came from South India, Mysore. Sanatan Rup, they are all family, previous family, they originally came from South India. South India, they came, actually from Mysore. Very high family, Varadraj. But still they are expressing, we are actually fallen. And Mahaprabhu himself is Supreme Lord, but still going to express this kind of humbleness. This way, Mahaprabhu is going to give accommodation to all devotees as per the order of as per the order of Raja Prataparuddha. Mahaprabhu is going to arrange all their because all devotees coming. So many devotees, na? So many devotees. They come. So all their accommodation, water, water arrangement, prasadam. How to arrange Mahaprabhu accommodated by the by the desire of Mahaprabhu, King Prataparuddha going to arrange everything. This way, every day they are dancing, see everything common is they are doing. But special thing is that uh, while they are coming from Bangla, many of them they they carry so many special preparation for Mahaprabhu. Some Raghav. One special arrangement of Raghav was alone. When Raghav, Raghav, Raghav means in Panihati. Panihati, they are Raghav, Raghav, Mahaprabhu Parsha. Raghav and Daimanti, Daimanti, his sister. Daimanti and Raghav, they are making so much preparation that you need one special car to carry. Daimanti, whole year. Whole year, Damanti and Raghav making some dry preparation like a ginger. So, Mahaprabhu uh, feeling problem in the stomach. So, you see, what can they don't think Bhagavan is supreme, he is supreme Lord. A Bhagavan, a stomach problem can be there. So, they are making ginger preparation, this, that, dry mango, dry cut and dry up, and then make it in some all mesal. Special preparation, Kashundi, one special preparation of master seed. All special. Man, they think Gauranga is our heart. 
They are not thinking about ah, Krishna Bhagavan can become develop a stomach problem. Can you think? But they are. That's mean they are they are loveful relations with Bhagavan. They are actually not Vidimar, Ragmar. So Sivas Pandit carries something, Sivananda Sen carries something, Bhakeshwar Pandit carries all devotees, Damayanti, especially one big car you need to carry all the items of Raga Pandit. It is called Raghavai Jali. I have seen 24 years back, somehow I was there inside Gambira Mandir. Nobody allowed. They don't allow Gauriyama devotee inside Gambira Mandir. By that time, a red cloth brahmachari, by the mercy of Gurudev, one uh, man was there. He is the son of one minister of South India having relationship with Gambira Mandi. He fr developed friendship, he loved me. I like to hear something from me. He said, Maharaj, you can stay in Gambira Mandi. I said, they cannot allow me. They can, they cannot allow. I am from Gauriya They can allow, you come with me. I come and speaking to the in charge, is my friend, you can say here. Luckily, I was there for two consecutive, and uh, two or three consecutive days. So inside Gambira, what is the taste of what is the taste of staying inside Gambira? By the I was lucky to get this. So this way, inside Gambira, Mahaprabhu taking accommodation there. There. So I have seen the rag, rag, only Raghavai Jali. All other devotees I am not speaking. Only Raghavai Jali, Pura full baranda. Now how they bring? Well, at present they are going to carry by train or somehow. But previously, they used to take all, every, every basket in the head. Now you can imagine. Can you imagine the love for Mahaprabhu? 600, come on, 600 kilometers, they are going to carry six, 600 Navadhi from here, if you calculate, more than 600, 650 or more than that, or even 700. I don't know, exact calculation. They used to carry each one of them. They are going to take one basket. Hare Krishna. They are thinking Gaur. Gauranga is hard. As if they are moving in a dream. They are not feeling any pain. They are going up to Gambira Mandir and they are going to skip all items. This is called love. This is called love. How much love Yasodama can show? It is not a matter of joke, it is not drama. Jasodama having what kind of love? Manage Jasodama and Krishna all same. Heart. If something happens to Krishna, Jasodama can die. This kind of relationship we can discover with Ma, in the Leela of Gaurang Mahapu, Adwaita Gosai, who not? Who not? Everyone. Adwaita Gosai, Sinibha Sachajyo, eh? Jagadananda Pundi, I already told so many things. How much deep relationship? So it is inexplicable. We cannot describe in certain a time, time bound problem. I cannot discuss. Impossible. This way, Mahaprabhu going to accept it. Mahaprabhu accepting. All devotees out of their loveful mood going to bring so many things for Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu throughout the, throughout the year. It is written, Govindo every day getting something out of that basket. Prabhu, who give it? Name also, Govindo memorize everything. Prabhu, this is given by Damantima. And that one uh, given by Raghav. And this one, Malinima. This is all namingly, you can memorize everything every day. Giving prasadam, while Mahaprabhu is sitting in prasadam. Most of the time, devotees inviting Mahaprabhu. So, sometime Mahaprabhu taking prasadam in Gambira Mandir, I mean Govindu Kung. Most of the time, everybody. Mahaprabhu cannot give any gapping. All devotees, today you can take prasadam here. Today, Mahaprabhu said, already somebody invite me, I cannot go. Sarvamati is for the for whole month you will have to take prasadam. Sarvahumo. Out of loveful mood, you are speaking this. 
I am sannyasi. How possible whole, whole month I can take prasad? Okay, I can take for five days. No, no, seven days. This was fighting. Laughful mood. By reading and hearing, something we can realize. But in practical, in course of doing bhajan, when you can go up to that far, when a whole heart, when Gauranga is sitting, then you can realize what a kind of loveful appear. Impossible to discuss. Now, tomorrow we can discuss. Now, Sarup Gosai uh, coming already after Sarup Gosai. So many incidents, uh, so many things that Mahaprabhu, loveful exchange with Mahaprabhu, we cannot describe. Shondor je kama kotihi, sakala jana samal la jana chandra kotir, batsalya mati kotir, tidasa bita pinam kotir, oudar jo sare. Gambhir je ammadi kotir, gambhir je ammadi kotir, madhuri moni, madhuri moni, sudakhira madhika kotir, gaura deva, sa jiyat, punay rasa pade, dorsitas charjapati. Tomorrow I can explain this sloka. Today I am bound to, because I have discussed and I have to go to Bengali Harikatha. So, excuse me here. Sangsar Sindhu Uttarane Hidayam Yadishab Sankirtanam Ritara Seramate Manoschet Premam Budo Viharane Yadichitta Viti Chaitanya Chanda Charane Kurutanuragam Chaitanya Chanda Charane Kuruta Anuragam. One Chakalpoturusikapas in the way. Patitanang Pavane Bhavishna Bhunam.